Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the distributed system. So this is uh, one of one type of the operating system. Now let us see what is this distributed system. A distributed system, it is a collection of it is a collection of independent computers. It's just a collection of independent computers. I'm talking about the independent computers. Means one computer is not depends upon another computer. So it's just a collection of independent computers interconnected. Interconnected via network. Capable of collaborating on a task. So that is a uh, distributed systems. So it just a collection of independent computers interconnected via network capable of collaborating on tasks. So what do you mean? So whereas in the parallel system, so we, there we are taking a multiple uh, CPUs, multiple processors or sharing a single shared memory means one system is depends upon the another system so that is a tightly coupled whereas the distributed system here we are taking a collection of independent computers interconnected via network and those systems those uh, computers are capable of collaborating on a single task so here let us take this is one browser and this is one and this is one suppose we are taking a different a different processor each system is having their own processor and memory each system is having own processor and memory processor memory so these are all the independent computers processor memory And this is also a processor and memory so here one computer is connected to another computer so this is an interconnected computers so it is a collection of independent computers interconnected so these are all interconnected via network and capable of collaborating on a task and these are also capable of collaborating on a task so this is about uh, a definition of distributed system now let us see what are the examples of distributed systems examples the examples of distributed system is telephone network so in the telephone network also uh, a connections a telephone uh, wiring that there, there is it is following the distributed technology and cellular networks that is a wireless and computer network such as internet network such as internet or you can take the ATM machines so whatever we are using that ATM machines for withdrawing the money so those ATM machines are also for uh, is one type of distributed operating system and mobile computing etc so these are the different uh, examples the examples that uh, using the distributed operating systems so uh, let us see the one type of distributed operating system so whatever we here we have taken the examples these examples are following uh, a, a distributed operating system used as a client server systems so let me these examples follows the client server operating system means it is using the technology of client server operating system so what is this a client server a client server means here suppose let us take these are the 
clients okay and here let us take this is a server this you call it as a network so these are all the clients and the server so here client 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 so different clients these are all clients are connected in using same network and that uh, network is connected with server so here this server is using by all the clients so a single server is using all the clients so this is a representation of client server architecture so here the server broadly categorized as so whatever the server we are taking here this server this server is categorized as server broadly categorized as computer server so whatever the server we are connecting in the client server model it may be a computer server or it may be a file server computer server or file server suppose if it computer server what it does a computer server it provides an interface to which client can send request to perform an action and server send back result to client so here a two way communication is there in the computer server if you take a computer server so first here the clients whatever the clients are there they are sending a request to the server so whenever the server receives the info, uh, request from the clients uh, whatever the client that sends the request the server again respond to that uh, client request and send the data to whatever the client uh, that is requesting the message so suppose this client is request the server to send some message then the server will respond by sending the message that you call it as a computer server so what about the file server file server means is just a one way it provides it provides a file system interface where client create update read and delete the files that are present in this server so it's just the file server if the server that acting as a file server so then the it provides a file system interface where client can create update read and delete files in the file server so the server can be broadly categorized as computer server as well as it may be a file server so here the uh, the main uh, this distributed system is uh, a distributed system is loosely coupled we call it as a loosely coupled so why we call it as a loosely coupled distributed system is loosely coupled because here there is no shared memory a distributed system is a loosely coupled because there is no shared memory because each system is independent to other system each system is having their own processor and the uh, own memory so no shared memory various communication lines will be there so that's why distributed system is a loosely coupled then what are the advantages of this distributed system advantages of distributed system 
the advantages for uh, resource sharing resource sharing computation speed up computation speed up next uh, reliability reliability and uh, communication communication so communication just via example for communication is email so this is about the advantages of uh, distributed systems thank you